Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can have different inventories for different worlds with the plugin Pair World Inventory. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you need to do is download and install the plugin. So, if you click this download now button, there'll be a link to this page in the description below. And then once you've downloaded it, go to the control panel for your server. Go to the file manager, go to the plugins folder, upload file, choose files, and then select the .jar file that we just downloaded. Click open, and then upload from computer. And then once it's fully uploaded, click restart. Once the server has fully restarted, you can click refresh, and you should see this folder called Pair World Inventory appear. So in here contains the configuration files for Pair World Inventory. So first, we're going to take a look at the worlds.yml file. So this is the most important file for Pair World Inventory. So this is where you group worlds and decide which worlds have different inventories to others. So first, let's take a look at what worlds we actually have. So if you click this home button, you can see here, I've got world, world underscore nether, world underscore the underscore end, and then I've got PVP and factions. So I've added the PVP and factions just for this demonstration, um, but you can use whatever worlds you have. So once you've identified the worlds that you have, go back to the plugins folder, then the pair world inventory folder, and then open the worlds.yml file. So this is the main file for this plugin, and this is where you're going to be separating the worlds and adding worlds together. So first, let me try and describe how this plugin actually works. So to separate plugins, you have groups, as you can see here, there's a default group, which contains the worlds world, world underscore nether, world underscore the underscore end. So that means all three of these worlds will have the same inventory. So if you were to add another group, and let's say we were to call this group, um, second and then just call it second and then add worlds underneath and then added one other world or both the worlds that I have extra so factions and PvP so that means the worlds factions and PvP will have the same inventory but they'll be different to the group default if that makes sense so that's basically how you separate the worlds and you can have as many groups as you like. So if I had another set of worlds and I wanted to call it a third for example and I had one that was a PvP arena and I had survival games and I wanted them to have the same inventory, I could have it like that. And you can mix and match the default ones as well, so say if I didn't want those ones to be in there, I could put them into this one. So you can mix and match and do whatever you like and that's basically how you lay it out and it's really simple. So once you decided which groups you've got and which worlds are having different inventories and such, click save, and but make sure you only have worlds that are existing here. So then click save, and then we'll take a quick look at the config.yml file. So this file basically controls all the basic settings for this plugin. It's got annotations next to every setting, so it's really easy to understand how it works and what settings um, do what exactly. So we're not going to go through this in great detail. But once you've edited it, again, click save. And then once you've made all the changes you need to make, restart your server. So once your server has fully restarted, we can join the server and take a look at the plugin and test that it's working. So as you can see, I've just joined my server and I've spawned in the default world, which is called world. And I've got four clay blocks in my hand. So if I was then to teleport to the PVP world, which is in a different group, I should have different different things or nothing in my inventory. So as you can see, I've just TP'd to the PVP world and I have a block of dirt. So then if you remember, um, the world factions is also in the same group as the PVP world. So if I was to TP to factions, I should have a block of dirt in my inventory as well. And as you can see, I do indeed have a block of dirt. And again, if you remember correctly, I added um, the netherworld to um, the same inventory group. So if I were to type slash mvtp world underscore nether, I should again have a block of dirt. And then just to double check everything's working correctly, if I TP back to the default world, which again is in a completely different group, I should have those four clay balls. So that's it. 
It's really simple to use. It is a bit confusing if you don't really understand how the groups work. Uh, but if you just play around a bit, you should be able to figure it out. Um, if this tutorial isn't very helpful, feel free to contact our support and they'll help you configure it correctly. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.